Hi guys, welcome back to this series on ML apps using Android. So today I decided to continue the series by adding two more chapters. So one for driver drowsiness detection and one for post detection. So these are also based on ML kit. They're also available as part of the vision quick start app uh, from Google. So uh, most of the code is copied from there because it was a lot of code. We can't really write it line by line because uh, we have to use the camera uh directly in the app so using the camera takes a lot of time so let us just get started and see what i have done and then maybe i'll go through the code so this is for driver drowsiness detector so i can't record and play it at the same time so so here you can see that uh when the eyes are closed uh i have added one more label called drowsy which will come as true so very simple implementation what it does is uh, so this are all the outputs that come as part of face detection uh, classification so when you enable all this you will get left eye open probability and right eye open probability so when this probability drops below 50 percent for consecutive 10 frames then the drowsy uh, flag will be true otherwise it will be false so here like as soon as the eyes are open, it will become false. So if you are blinking, so if you're just blinking, then the flag will not come as true. It will still wait for your uh, drowsiness or your eyes to remain uh, closed. So very simple implementation. Uh, so going through the code, so most of his, uh, most of it is, is based on this uh, Vision Quick Start by Google MLK. Uh, this is the link. And I've also updated my own uh, ML series demonstrator. This uh, commit should have all the changes that were required for creating this code for both driver and uh, driver drowsiness and post detection. So you can just head up there and uh, check out the code changes. From the code side, uh, what we have done is so as always, we have created a final activity which will have the exact uh, processor in this case uh, we are using processor while in the previous terms we were just uh, uh, directly using the helper activities so for this i created the ml video helper activity because pose and drowsiness works better with video so this is a very simple layout i have added two classes camera source preview and graphic overlay these both come from vision quick start with a little bit of changes so what these do is so this will add a preview of the camera in your activity so as soon as you open the activity you will see the preview of the camera so so as soon as you click on driver detector uh, driver drowsiness detector this camera that is coming behind is coming from the camera source preview and all the text and this bounding boxes these dots these labels are coming from graphic overlay so the camera is being fed to camera source preview and all the text uh, bounding boxes lines everything is being drawn in this graphic overlay using the graphic library so this was a lot of code that's why i decided not to do line by line the camera source preview takes two things uh, so when you do tell it to start uh, like the camera preview it will take it will ask for camera source and graphic overlay camera source is nothing but the camera that is uh, linked to your mobile device or emulator in my device in my case i'm using emulator and i have uh, hooked the webcam to the emulator so i'm able to do that uh, so yeah you can see it's a lot of code that is why i didn't want to do this you can also just copy this code from vision quick start and uh, start using it it's all apache 2.0 so it should be fine they also have android uh, camera x uh, preview so if you want to use the new camera apis so the main code changes that were required was to get the camera permission like before like uh, how we used to get the uh, storage permissions here we require camera permissions and once the camera permissions are granted or they are already available we will initialize the source and start the camera source so initialize source will just create the camera source object with the graphic overlay which are coming from the layout and then we will call this uh, we will also call set processor now set processor is abstract it is implemented by driver drowsiness which will pass the face detector processor so more on that later so once uh, init source is done we will do start camera source this will uh, add the preview and it will start the preview so it will 
call it will get the layout the camera source preview and it will pass the camera source and the graphic overlay and internally they will start the camera when the activity is being destroyed or the user presses back we will release the camera source which will stop the camera from working so this is important to release the memory now uh, the camera source internally works with the machine learning frame processor which takes the face detector processor uh, which is internally built on vision processor base so what they do is like they run a thread in the background and for every frame they will call the detect method so this is the method they will call request detect an image which will call internally detect in image so if you see face detector processor uh it also has implementation of detect in image so for every frame they will uh, build the image using bitmap and then they will learn the detector on top of it so as before uh, in the constructor we have initialized the face detector options so instead of doing in the active team we are doing it in the processor because that is how google has built their app so because we are streaming the video we have used performance mode fast and we are detecting all the landmarks like uh, you can see left eye right eye nose and cheeks and then we are doing classification mode all which will give us all the information that we need and then finally we have enabled tracking so this tracking is important because for every face we will uh, track whether that face is drowsy or not so even if you have like multiple people in the same frame you can track individually whether they are feeling drowsy or not so for actually drowsiness so how to calculate i created this face drowsiness class uh, it has the drowsiness threshold of 50%. So if the eye open probability is less than 50%, then only we will mark it as drowsy. And we are using 10 frames to calculate it. So that is what this max history is all about. So we are using an array DQ. It's like a linked list where you add things at the end, where you can add things at the end or front, and then you can even remove them from front or back. So that is how it is beneficial. So what we are doing is for every frame, we are tracking whether the eye open probability is less than the drowsiness threshold and we are keeping a track of it as soon as all the 10 frames tell us that the person is drowsy we will set the flag as drowsy so uh, so like we will if both the eyes are drowsy we will add true if not we will add false and then uh, we will ensure that the frames we only have 10 frames we will remove the first and add at the last so that we have the history in time bound and then at the end we will check if the max history is 10 frames we have like 10 frames and then we will uh, for every 10 frames we will check whether the drowsiness is true so if the drowsiness is true for all of the 10 frames then we return is drowsy if any of the frame is false this is drowsy flag will become false and we will just return false so very simple implementation you can use it as a POC or a demo project or you can build on top of it. You can take this uh, frame data, uh, use it as a time series data and build your own model on top of it. You can even add calibration because uh, if the weather is hot and sunny, the eyes will automatically close a little bit. So this 0.5 or 50% threshold might not work. So, but a very good place for you to start your driver drowsiness detection demo project or POC. So yeah, this is the code. Uh, very simple code, lot of copy paste from Google, but yeah, it works. All the code is there in GitHub, and uh, please do check it out. If you have any doubts, leave them in the comments. In the next video, we will check post detection. Thank you for watching.